A breaking state law by banning guns in the courthouse. One local couple is asking the Texas Attorney General that very same question. K Max Nicolette Perdomo is looking into this. And Nicolette, we don't have the answer yet, but you say the AG is definitely moving forward. The Baxas made a complaint this one. They sent a letter on August 28th when they were ordered to disarm before coming into the courthouse. About two weeks later, the AG sent a letter to Lubbock County. It says officials will review and then make a final decision. Gun rights are important to me because I have five children that my wife and I need to be able to protect. The Baxas filed an official complaint against Lubbock County because they were ordered to disarm on a recent visit to the courthouse. Without us being able to be armed, we can't protect our children properly. They went to the courthouse to renew their passports, not to appear in a courtroom. When my wife had to walk through a dangerous part of town from parking a couple blocks away to the courthouse and be unarmed and unable to protect our kids during that time. They claim that state law only allows the county to prohibit firearms in court or court offices. On September 14th, the assistant attorney general wrote Lubbock County to say the situation was under review. I was familiar with the law ahead of time that and I knew Lubbock County was breaking the law, and the, the proper protocol to get the county to do the right thing is to send a letter to the county judge. Commissioner Bill McKay says commissioners don't have the final say, but wanted to point out one specific exception to the law. Some folk believe it's ambiguous, and yet some believe it's very clear what can be done. This is it's important to know and to remember that this is the Lubbock County Courthouse. It's not the Lubbock County Governmental Office building. Lubbock County's official response says there's no way to separate all the courts from the rest of the building. Stairways, elevators, hallways. The entire building is the issue. And this question is still pending at the office of the Attorney General. We'll provide an update as soon as the AG makes a ruling. Nicholas.